<laughs> Dad's upstairs. This is Dad, Bruce, and she, Cinnamon. No, not Cinnamon. Sorry, I'm so used to saying Enchi Cinnamon these days. And she, Het Sunset. 100% Het Sunset. Bruce has sired a handful of fantastic clutches around here, and he is the sire of this clutch that we're about to take a look at right now. Beautiful example of a Enchi Het Sunset. Just shed out. Looking great, Bruce, We've the had champ. Bruce for a while. I've had Bruce for a long time. Yeah. Good job, Bruce. And here comes the mama. Gotta have the mama. Got Bruce from BHB back in the day, by the way, and mom got from Freedom Breeder a while back. She, unfortunately, is going into shed right now. She, she doesn't look as good as she usually does, but she is Sophie, and she is an Enchi Lesser Spider. Looking in shed. <laughs> <laughs> But she's Sophie because she has a giraffe. Or oh something, yeah, right? Sophie. She got her name because she had this uh, kind of giraffe-looking mark on her. That's the giraffe right there. That was the marking that got her her name because we had a giraffe named Sophie. That's actually similar colors to her with the the tan and the yellow. That's, that's true. very dulled out right now because she's in shed, but <laughs> it is there. No, I don't generally like posets. Fifty percent posets. The main reason being, I've wanted to make a super enchi ball python for a long time and have not ever as many enchi to enchi pairings as i've ever done still haven't had a super enchi pop out until i believe today so there's also something really interesting about a lot of the snakes in this clutch that i'm going to take a look at so this one is oh wait maybe this did this guy not shed out yet this guy looks like he hasn't shed out yet what are you doing dude are you super late bloomer it looks like he's still got his egg skin on. No way. Everybody else is long shed out. Mm, that I'm feels, no that feels like Ed's egg skin on there still. I am no rush. I guess we'll find out if there's a shed sitting in his or her spot. So this is the first one. This is a, an Enchi. And you can tell it's an Enchi and not a normal because of the banding going across the back. The gravelly kind of orange stuff popping up inside of the alien heads, which... He's looking like he might be at sunset. I'm probably going to say that about every single one of these snakes. And she, 50% pos at sunset. Huh. Good looking snake. Very good looking. I like those colors. Do I get to hold sure. it? Sure. You get home and you can do the transfer box. So after we show a snake here, we're going to transfer over to that box oh, over there. Okay. And that could be your official job, mom. I'm not going to sex the snakes right now. I'm just going to show you guys the, the different animals we got. We did get seven good healthy snakes out of this clutch all doing a fantastic job of is this kind of shit i think they're just wet i i, I clean them off a little bit of moisture i think they're just wet i do not believe that this still has egg skin this one also looks like it's most likely going to prove out his head sunset is that good <laughs> yeah it's great oh, okay it's just you know it's that the so to some people, it's kind of obvious what the signs are, but I'm not going to claim that they are actually at sunset. But man, if that doesn't prove at sunset, I will just be, I'll be surprised. Another Enchi. As you can tell by the, the nice, oh, focus camera. As you can tell by the nice orange colors coming up inside of the alien heads, and those oranges leading me to believe that it's at sunset. Got some nice contrast going on, got some lightness, got the, of course, all of the banding. All the pattern. You see that banding, mom? Like how the how it crosses across the top, yes. like kind of like tiger stripes going across. Ah, uh, yes, um, yes. Laterally across yes. the. Is that yes. correct? Is lateral? Is that the correct? Side, side to side. This way. That's lateral. Yes, because right? otherwise it'd be longitudinal, right? Sure, mom. Okay. Let's just say. Let's just agree. <laughs> Look at the belly too. A lot of pattern going down the middle of the belly there, on that animal. And I'll, I'll find out later. Uh, if you guys are going to the. Anaheim show on September 11th, the weekend of September 11th, Anaheim Reptile Show, Reptile Super Show happening. I'm going to be going there. I'll have a booth. I'll be down there doing interviews. I will probably have most of this clutch with me available on the table. I don't think I'm going to list this. I think about, about, about the time that that show's happening, these guys will have meals and they'll be ready to travel down and, and sit there so you can come see these in person. And I'll, I'll probably bring some visual sunsets to check out as well if you want to take a look at those and see them in person with your own eye. I was hoping that I was also advertising that my mom would be there. However, she's not going to be in the country, so... Yep, Thanks, yep. Hopefully, you're going to leave the country and travel the, with your sister. So when did these guys hatch out? Um, this was a, about a week and a half fish ago or so. And then you tried to it was feed on, them? Oh, you know what? It was, uh, it was Father's Day when they hatched out. Ah. Here's another... Uh, 
one that looks like it's just you know here's what, here's what i'm looking at guys you can see these colors coming up in the belly this is a spider that really looks like it's gonna prove i mean i, I feel like i'm sound disingenuous i'm saying that a lot of these look like they're gonna prove out to be at sunset but what i'm looking at is this okay. crazy amount of orange color that's bleeding up from the belly into the alien heads and that's not a color that you always see on a spider like that not that I've seen a million spiders, but I've seen a handful, and uh, it just looks like something that's probably going to prove out at sunset. But you know, there's I can, say all, as I can say that all day long, what's really going to take them to prove out is that they'll have to breed and have to oh, produce sunsets, sorry. obviously. Mom, <laughs> please don't break the snake. There you go, beautiful spider. And something that I've noticed on a lot of the animals in this clutch, if you take a look underneath here on the chin, there's this interesting pattern happening markings happening underneath the chin there you can see that right there i'll show you in a lot of the other snakes too there's a very interesting uh under the chin markings going on now this one i'm thinking is enchi spider for a couple of reasons the enchi that's the thing about why, why i wouldn't be surprised if a bunch of these end up being head sunset whatever real reason that male that enchi sunset bruce he has strong genetics meaning that he tends to throw lots of enchis which is why i've been surprised i've never produced a super enchi and and he throws out his head sunset a lot like he's he's we've done lots of head-to-head -head pairings or several head-to-head -head pairings with him and we always get visuals in the clutch every single time like a bunch of them so it's just it's a yep. interesting thing it's mom actually could you bring that back about i kind of want to show the difference between okay. this one and the other one the and other two are like i want out so if you guys can see kind of the more exaggerated stripe going down the back you see a lot of the banding of the pattern happening whereas the spider the normal spider it's run a lot more longitudinal, you know, it's a pattern going that way, whereas this one has a lot more of the banding kind of cutting across, and you've got that lighter shade. And then this one also has the very interesting markings there underneath the chin. Really cool looking and just different. Something I never really noticed before on a lot of other snakes. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. And the next one here, I'm positive, is an Enchi Spider. I don't think it's quite super enchy status, but it definitely has a much more reduced amount of pattern on the oh. head compared to the other guy there. Um, and then this one definitely has the the banding going down back towards the edge of the tail, crossing over the snake instead of running up and down the long length of it. And a lot more exaggerated white coming up the sides, a lot of pixelation happening across the belly. And also, with that very interesting chin patterning happening. That one, this one has it more extreme than, than the others even. Here, look at that one. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's it's just just different. Never really see, saw so much uh, extreme pattern on the chin of a snake, but I mean, maybe I haven't taken the time to look as much, but just pretty cool. So is this one of your most pet projects or important? Oh era? no, you no, the I mean? clutch that's in the incubator right now that's yeah. hatching out currently, that is the pet project. The ultimate. Now this is an Enchi Lesser Spider. Looks just like mom, almost identical. You can tell the lesser in this one compared to the rest of the animals. It's just a much lighter color. Lesser, of course, being an extreme pattern and uh, color mutation. It's, it's very powerful. You get the Enchi influence, these small, tiny, little soft holes in the keyholes and alien heads. And pretty. Now, since the lesser lightens up the pattern quite a bit, you can't see them nearly as clearly, but there are these little tiny chin marks on there. There's there's super faint and light, but there is the there are those chin markings on the snake as well. Just something I, I found very interesting. Again, just like mom, and she lesser spider. Are you gonna hold any of these back, or are these all? Great question. This right. is the last snake, snake number seven, right here, and I will be holding it. It's a female. Uh, so the post hat sunset will definitely be doing putting a visual sunset to this girl sometime in the future some kind ah. of visual sunset combo to try and prove her out and she is also the super enchi version of that snake so where that enchi lesser spider there is a uh, stingless bee i don't know what you call the super enchi version actually an enchi spider is a stinger bee enchi lesser spider is a stingless bee um Super and she lesser spider is I don't know what you call it. Does anybody know what you call a super and she lesser spider? Because 
uh, whether or not I'm right about that, which I'm pretty sure I am, given the extreme amounts of reduction in pattern. Uh, that just screams super inchy, especially down to the tail here. You can see the pattern almost starts to disappear. This and the, the head pattern is much more reduced. There's not nearly as much head pattern on the super inchy version as there is. Whether or not I'm right, it doesn't matter because I'm keeping <laughs> this girl back. And I think it's obvious though. It's, it's obvious to me that this is super inchy and I'm stoked because it's finally, finally a super inchy and all the pairings I've done to try and hit a super inchy and never hit it. Somehow we finally hit super inchy and that means that this girl, all, everything she produces will be inchy. And if she proves out to be Het Sunset and everything comes out inchy, as you guys know, I really believe that inchy is one of the key ingredients in producing very good looking sunsets. That'll just be a huge win. So, What'd the word inchy come from? Uh, the, the whole enchilada or some kind of oh. river in Africa or I don't, I don't remember. I've heard a couple different stories huh. and I don't know which one to believe. <laughs> so I just pretend to believe both of them. She kind of looks peachy. Just I, Oh, you've seen some peachy in there? Oh, maybe, no, maybe I don't know prove out head sunset then. <laughs> I know nothing. I just, the color, I just, I don't know. The, the two lighter ones remind me of, I just think peach. Peachy. They look peachy. <laughs> I, I didn't really let you talk much in this episode. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind. I just, I'm happy to sit here and, and, because I really don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's not my, uh, yeah, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's not my area oh, of expertise. It's all right. You yeah. could always ask me questions if you wanted to. Um, I, th I felt like I did. A did I do a decent job of explaining? Yes, what they I like? think so. Okay. Yeah. I, so I can ask you questions. So in 1994, uh, <laughs> I was 13. Oh, okay. Never mind. How about 1998? I was 17. Ah, see, now you have some stories there I need to hear about. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the question. Oh, the question. Hmm. I can't answer you if you don't ask one. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's all right. I won't. I won't ask on camera. But later. <laughs> oh, I was going to show you guys the clutch. So this is the clutch that is going to be the reason I wanted to breed ball pythons in the first place. And it's this clutch right here is kind of just where it's at. Pairing was uh, Enchi Clown, 100% Hip Hide to. A pied, 100% het clown. Right there, you can see we've got uh, a snake, <laughs> and it looks like it has the pied markers all on the bottom there. Where's the this this one right here is definitely that's not a clown. It's a clown pied. Okay, we hit clown pieds for sure. I know you can't really see them right now, but I promise, as soon as this clutch sheds out, I will be giving you a full look at what is my most exciting clutch to have hatched out here at Triple B ever because clown pies again were that's just my favorite always have been my favorite always will be my favorite most likely and uh we actually have some clown pies in here so I'm super excited to show you guys those when they come out of the egg which I will do um thank you guys for watching thanks for letting my mom sit here and, and silently uh, appreciate me <laughs> <laughs> yes yes always 24/7 <laughs> Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you uh, on Monday for Johnny Cash, for real this time. He means it.